I love reimagination. I think the ACS is just, it's an amazing body. It's bringing so many of these bright minds together and bringing them all into one room. And so you've got an audience that are getting to access the minds of these amazing people in their different fields from entrepreneurs to uh, some of the biggest investors. It's really great to get that sort of full breadth and picture. The tech talent in Australia is up there with the world. It's, uh, you know, something where we tend to find our niches and find our areas and move with, with speed. But we also treat it with a level of caution and quality that is different to the way that other, other countries do it. And, uh, and getting to travel around the world to find out what's happening in the different countries, I find that every nation has its own uh, personality as to how it evolves with technology and how quickly it moves in entrepreneurship. But Australia definitely has a lot of amazing talent, so we've got to try and keep a lot of it on shore. Something that we actually do really well in Australia is thinking about inclusive technology. I mean, compared to what I've seen out there, sometimes designed inclusive of various de demographics, various groups. Sometimes technology has to be made more inclusive. And this is the sort of work that we look at. How can technology be made more inclusive for people with disabilities, for the elderly, for aged care and palliative care? But how do we think about it from a perspective of who are we trying to reach with this technology and who could benefit from the technology? And how do we make sure we don't uh, grow too great a digital divide? How do we keep everyone on board with this massive rate of change? Human insight and technological advancement all at the same time. I think what's fascinating about our advancements in technology is that it gives us a, a greater understanding of ourselves. It helps us learn more about humanity, more about what it means to be human in a lot of cases. And it's not just the technologies themselves that allow us to scan more about ourselves. It's also the technologies that make us almost think existentially about our own future, about the future of our species, the future of our world, wildlife, the environment, and it bands people together in many cases. So sometimes we need those external threats like artificial intelligence. I mean, it makes us talk about what it means to be human so much more than ever before. At the same time, we start to go, well, where are these types of technologies able to be utilized to achieve the dreams that we've set out? We're moving very quickly into this new age where social businesses are on the rise. My, my social business, Psykinetic, what we do is we look at how technologies can be more inclusive, how we can have uh, an increased quality of life for, for people with disabilities, for aged care, um, for end of life care we're looking into as well. Now what we're starting to, to see is that these advancements in technology they're creating a bit of a digital divide, but what we're wanting to do is to make sure that those who could benefit from it are gonna keep up with the change and those communities are being brought along with it. Now, social businesses are a little bit different because they're not your standard not-for-profit and they're not a standard for-profit business either. They sort of sit in between. Now, a social business or a social enterprise, they tend to have the primary objective of maximizing social impact rather than maximizing profit. And, uh, and I think that's a fabulous thing. That's something that is spreading around. There's a lot more of these social businesses turning up. And what it means is it, it can be profit for purpose. It can be an area where you're seeing that, that you can build something that is sustainable into the future that can make sales, that can, uh, that can spread. And so you almost earn your keep as a business. And I really like that um, because it means that we can start to solve social issues and keep up with those changes, harness the technologies of today. And that's what we choose to do with, uh, with Psykinetic. It's all fueled by purpose. What we realised was we had a lot of friends who have, have amazing levels of ability who want to contribute as much to society as possible. So if we can provide just a little bit of extra independence through our technologies, then we're going to see a greater contribution to society and we're going to, to move more towards what drives us, which is that social and environmental impact. So what we're doing is just learning to, to collaborate, connect better and, uh, and harness technology in a good way. When you have like-minded people all in a single group, you're almost reinforcing your way of thinking. And this is where diverse teams comes in. You know, having a diverse team of all walks of life, people from all areas, cultural backgrounds, no matter what it might be. And for us, we, uh, we work with, you know, people from all around the world and uh, in various situations. And I think that's an interesting thing to realize that once you start to bring in those diverse teams, you bring in different perspectives, different backgrounds, different ways of thinking, and you can start to work together. So collaboration uh, can be challenging and at the same time, it can just be so much more fruitful if you've brought those diverse perspectives and uh, experiences to the table. There's many different types of technologies out there, many different movements, but many different challenges of the world that need to be solved. So when we start with those inspirations, when we start with those really strong purposes of what sort of adventures, what sort of challenges are we going to solve, what sort of businesses are we going to start. Now that we've got the funding as well and all that support going into it and these groups starting to band together, the future is just limitless. And I think that's what we've got to realise is that we have that impact in the lives of the people around us. Our businesses, our, our groups can band together and really have a positive impact in this world. And, uh, and I think that's something that's so exciting is that Australia is moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm.